Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try talking about a revolution uh, by Tracy Chapman. We're going to do it on the ook. We did it a couple a few years ago on the guitar. It's one of our first videos, like four years ago. All right, here we go. That's the whole song. It repeats that. I did it twice. You, can, you only have to do it once. <laughs> Stick your little pedal on and go. All right, you need a G chord. Third string, first string, second fret. Second string, third fret. On that one, I'm just going to strum down. All right, the next thing, you, you could go to a C chord next if you want to make it real vanilla. Um, I'm going to go to a C. I'm going to add a 9 or a 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to leave the third string, second fret down and go to the first string, third fret, like a C chord. But by having this... I get that little that sound. She has she's playing a C add nine on the guitar, so that's what we're we're we're, we're striving for as best we can on the uke. So on that chord, so it's a third string second fret, first string third fret, C add nine, and if you want, use a regular C chord if you don't like the sound, and you just go up, up, down, up on that one. So it's a G to the C add nine. So the G's down, the C add nine's up. Up, down, up. And then all you have to do is you, you keep that finger down again, third string, second fret. Now I want the first string, second fret, almost like a G chord. We're going to call this an E minor 7. And uh, we're just going to hit it down on that, just like we did on the G chord. So, so far you got. Pretty simple. Now we're going to go to a D chord. Uh, fourth string, third string, and second string at the second fret. I'm going to attempt to do it with my one, two, three fingers, best I can. Um, the uke's kind of small. <laughs> uh, the D, you're going to go, um, what you're going to do is that's a D chord, and we're going to go up. Then I'm going to add my pinky on the third, uh, second, sorry, the, um, the second string, third fret. That's a D sus4. And leave the other fingers down and hit an up on that and then remove the pinky and go down up. So the D is add the pinky, take the pinky away. So up, up, down, up. Okay? So it seems kind of complicated, but once you get it in your in your uh, head, once you practice it a few times, you're fine. Okay, so G's down, C add nines up. Up, down, up, E minor 7's down, D's up, sus 4's up, let go of the, go back to the D and go down, up, and that's the whole thing. So fast it sounds like. If I do it wicked slow. how I practiced it to, uh, to learn it is I always do things wicked slow one time uh, for some of you it's going to take more than one time but once you've been playing for a while you do it slow one time like at half speed or something like that and you're good to go right after that okay all right that's the whole song wish there was more to it this time uh, play more ook please hit the like button please subscribe all that jazz thanks for watching